jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. Legendary. What's up, what's up, everybody? Come on in. Get a seat. Grab yourself some dinner. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. We're gonna be playing a little bit more Skyrim today. Yeah, we're gonna be continuing on with our series, doing the uh, my version of Beginner's Guide to Stealth Builds. There we go. That looks better. And make yourselves at home while I get the rest of everything set up. Yeah, if uh, yeah, like I said, we're continuing on. Hi, everyone. We're continuing on with the build. We've got uh, Selenia, as I think is our name. And we are uh, going on with a uh, explanation of some different stealth builds. This one is mostly an archer stealth build, and we kind of go through that over in the first episode. If you haven't seen it, go check that. But yeah, while we're waiting for people to get rolled on in, do my... Oh, I got a video. My kid's downstairs eating spaghetti, and she just looks like a Beautiful like a, like a lion at a carcass on the Serengeti. Uh, Lacey says, I love your videos. Keep it up. Well, I love you, hun, and I will keep it up. Thank Looking you. To stay alive. And I can only do this because of chance. you, too, so I appreciate you and love you. Yeah, and I actually appreciate uh, all y'all out there that have been... Uh, uh, Texting me, t uh, telling me, like, leaving comments, liking the videos, uh, watching, all that Protect means a lot, so I appreciate y'all. So, yeah, uh, and I've said this in all the other videos, but I'll just go through real quick. Uh, no survival mode, we've got the anniversary edition, we've got no mods set up, so it's vanilla plus the anniversary and legendary editions. So, yeah, and we are going full on Archer stealth build. Ignore that Orcish dagger. I think I have a sword out right now. But yeah, we've got a lot of points into stealth, archery, light armor, alchemy. I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive. Have I see somebody that this. needs to be pin cushioned oh, right oh, here. Is someone there? Is someone there? Is someone there? Give up while you still can. Oh, that guy's kicking our butt. Let's get out of here. I think once we get out into the open, and I should have done a, uh, like a poison or something on Homeboy. Alright, but the jig is up. We're back down to fighting. Oh, are they not going to follow me out of here? Alright. Actually, what's a favorite thing I'm thinking about it? In craftsmanship. All right, take two. Let's see what kind of poisons that we got too. It's been a little while for me, so I got to kind of remember. Frenzy might actually be one. I'm not, not sure what level alive. these guys are at though. Take a chance. What are we learning today? This is the story of a sneak shot archer. <laughs> I like it. Hey everyone. Ah, uh, this is uh, just part two of the stealth builds. We're gonna do a little bit of the thieves guild and then a little bit of the dark brotherhood. Oh, uh, except this guy. This guy's gonna get shot in the stomach. And we're good. We are good. How many more? Po uh, out of poisons, we'll have to do something about that. Alright, so the guy stopped looking for us after we shot his homie. So that's nice. Ooh, new bow. And fire arrows. So we're not going to use the fire arrows on this guy, but those are actually super nice. But they do a big old AoE explosion. Uh, sir? Didn't you used to have a friend? Oh! oh. That was double damage? Get out of here. Alright, we'll use the same uh, technique as last time. Are you healing? Yeah, so that's why you definitely want to take people out as fast as you can, but sometimes, like, 
that guy just took it like a champ, so... Every now and then you gotta get a little down and dirty, but that's alright. Who doesn't mind that? Alright, let's save since I... <laughs> off to a good start. Sneak shot! Oh, yeah, if you shoot a card in the knee, does you say not again? Gotta take him out to dinner first. I I wish. I don't know if that's in uh, in this version, but that'd be really funny. Or if they just retired. They just quit. They run away. All right. There is a way that if you guys have the, uh, the whirlwind sprint, you can use it and kind of bend it like Beckham around that corner and skip this spot, but... We do not have that. Instead, we got Ratty Poos. Alright, we'll take it, we'll take it. Ow. One skewered rat in the butt, and we're ready to move on. Yeah, we had a pretty crazy weekend over here. Like, crazy in the good way, just busy. Uh, Babu's first birthday party was this weekend, so we had family and friends over. And it was uh, it was pretty, pretty nice. I think she had a good time. She slept through probably about half of it. So I'm assuming she had a good time. All right, where's old Gion? Oh, there he is. And then he gets the bear trap. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see if we can make any uh, poisons over here. I don't think we've collected too much, too much stuff. Skyrim dating swing, drag race expansion. Oh yeah, they should have drag race on here. We've uh. We've moved on. We've gone away from all the like American ones. So now Lacey's on to uh, Canada, Australia. Yeah, it's uh, the all stars. It's all drag queens all the time. <laughs> Have I not cooked anything yet? I had to have. some soups and the vegetable soup gives a uh, stamina and health regen like a slow one but it all adds up this uh, ghost will only appear if you guys have the anniversary edition and she uh, yeah she leads you down that way but more importantly there is a rat named scritch that you can get as a pet if you find the key follow the ghost Shadowfoot Sanctum. This is a uh, new area that you can use as a house, but you have to find the key. But yeah, it is the uh, the like thieves version of the house. So there's like Mirror Watch uh, Tower. It's kind of the Meiji build. Oh, low life. What a name. Did you? Uh, homie? Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, under the mat? Oh, man. Just to p just go by and it's just like welcome. Or one of those like little fake rocks that are just like sitting around right here. It's in the... 
read this, learn a little bit about pickpocketed. Alright, level up. Um, uh, I'll do another one into health. Alright, you can kind of see what we've been leveling up already. Uh, we put most of our points into sneaking. But light arm is a good one. Archery is a good one. One-handed is definitely a good one. Uh, let's do one into Alk. Make our poisons a little stronger. Alright. Let's go meet the Thieves Guild. And then once you do a couple quests with the Thieves Guild, you'll open up a shortcut. Oh, speaking of open up shortcuts. Hey, everyone. I'm going to go do that before I forget. Uh, this thing right here is a... Uh, Kind of a shortcut. Uh, oh, well, good thing I did that. I can't even get up there. Oh yeah, if you're a good uh, lock pick, you can just go through that expert lock. If you're into that kind of thing. And up the stairs, there's Scritch. <laughs> And take two. Let's try this one more time. And here is the uh, the Radway. It is like the run-down Thieves Guild. Uh, the more quests that you do for the Thieves Guild, they have a ton of side quests. Like, and they are just there to make money. Uh, and the more of those side quests you do, and there will be one, uh, you do a bunch in each city, and then after you do a certain amount in each city, like, a special quest will come up, and it's unique for every single city. And if you complete those, then those are, like, little special events. And you will notice this place starting to return yeah, back to life. There'll be more, uh, there'll be followers you can recruit, there's shops, like, a bunch of stuff different. down here. We've all heard that one before. Well, Brent. well, Quit call yourself. me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Oh, thank you. I almost got killed. <laughs> Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite Reliable and cocky. <laughs> so, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about Wetted. handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our oh, organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. I'm gonna, Piana, I'm, I'm gonna go shake Heinhardt some people down. Finally, <laughs> do this right, and I can promise the you a permanent place turned. in our organization. Honestly, a word of warning, though. I don't want any good. If you need any details, yeah. On the so marks, this one, you I'll just basically here. gotta go. Honest, uh, talk to Talon J at the B and. Helga is a devout follower Gotta of Gotta go Gabella. shake these people down because they owe some sort order. of money, like protection money, bribe money, who knows. With, uh, Smash that to the Thieves Guild, but since the Thieves Guild is like, all bark, no bite, they're like, no, we're not paying. I'm you guys aren't, what are you gonna do, do about it? Do? And so we're gonna go shake them down. And then I think we still gotta leave this way, but once we do a few uh, missions for the Thieves Guild, They'll, uh, they'll open up the back door for us so we can get in and out easy. Alright, all these shakedowns are in Rifted up here, and they're like pretty much the shop owners up here. And so, if you do this quest, people are going to get a little sassy with you, but as long as you don't mind that, nothing really bad comes of it. All right, make sure I'm on the right quest. Yep. Nope. And the soul divided. That was one of the uh, beautiful baubles. One of the ex the adventure league, the adventure league, the expansion quest. All right, be in the barb. First shakedown. God, I stayed a lot when I did my. Uh, and uh, like I said, I still plan on doing a uh, survival mode run. What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, 
She's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Your people? Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please yeah, don't yeah, harm yeah. anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. God, yeah, the, it's just mob, mob. If you'll excuse me, stuff. I have other All right, let's go shake Care this for lady a down. Or something to drink? Show me some coin. Are you ready? Probably bring no, off, bring off what you owe. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in How Morrowind. How could you possibly know about? Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Pay up well. and I'll forget yeah. about it. Take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. That's right. Shake down one, successful. And there is it. a way to shake down all these people without, like, beating them up. Uh, and I think they're pretty... They, they, the game makes it pretty obvious. I think uh, they're trying to show you that the Thieves' Guild ain't the Dark Brotherhood. Like, you're not... You can, you can get through the entire Thieves' Guild missions, and ideally you should, without killing it. anyone. Or too many people, you know. Nobody with a name. Nobody with a name. What's Guard? Uh, so, bruh. can I interest you in anything today? Uh, Some yeah, let's see what you got for sale junk. first Me? before I shake I it out. We, we might have a couple things to sell, right? Uh, oh yeah, we had the orcish bow and we were using the hunting bow the whole time. I feel... Feel like a goofy goober. Boom. And then this we already have. Studded or light armor. Are they the exact same thing? They are the exact same thing. Uh Magicka poisons. They're good against uh mages, but Yeah. And the public notice that's from that quest. Do I get anything from skooma bottles? Hell no. Um, I'm not going to make any... I'm not going to make any sort of like weapons or armor, but I will make jewelry. Uh, what? If we get oh, the chance for it, because it'll raise people. our skills up a bit and we could sell so this stuff. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this Oh, message? he sent me. Petty threats and fist waving are not going to sway me. You. Oh, but what happens if I wave for... my? Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people. So run this is out this is like them. the last option Likewise. is brawl. Uh, well, I have a lot but you have to like use so the I'm option brawl, or else like the leave. guards will come. But oh, it's something. What's over here? Oh, if something were to happen to this. Oh, word. Stop. That's priceless. Just pay them, uh, Bersi. Well. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf it. Uh, well, my bro. Have to make that's not how we do things here. Oh. My coin. I can't believe you're doing this. Stop. Oh, my word. Oh, bro, look at that. Now Bersi. what's going to happen no. here? You want me to break anything else? Like your face? on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here. Layla. Maybe your wife. Says she's stupid. No. Uh, if anything's to be done about this. Wait, did you just call your wife that or me? Ourselves. Read an apology. Hold on. All right. So that's two. Let's go get the third one. I think that's Helga. We're over at Helga's old bunkhouse. Welcome to Riften, home of the thieves. Oh well, thank you. I feel very welcome. Oh, while I am here, inside Riften, especially if you plan on using a lot of poisons, it's good to stop uh, right over here. Which happens to be close to where uh, the secret entrance to the Thieves' Guild is. Not for these, these are just flowers. But these ones, all this nightshade, here in Solitude have a lot of nightshade growing around just like in the city limits. Oh, there's the thief. I was wondering where that guy was. 
There's another uh, anniversary edition quest to start if you uh, pop over to this guy. Pop. Uh, oh, a diamond. Ruby. And then the Thieves Note will start the quest for the Gray Fox, which is a throwback to uh, some Oblivion. I don't oh. think the Gray Fox is in the Morrowind. I'm pretty sure. Like 80% sure. How can the humble Let's servant do a little Talos, Talos worship. But yeah, uh, the Nightshade is good for like just direct poison damage. And then right outside, in between Solitude and uh, Morthal, is that swamp. And a shit ton of Death Bell grows in there. You can mix Death Bell and Nightshade to get damage health. All right, let's go shake someone down. Figure if I'm going to call this a beginner's guide, i got to give you guys some hints at some time. We can't just sit here and talk about RuPaul's Drag Race all night. It's you. All right, Alga, Please, what's up? Please, don't hurt me. Okay. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire oh. city. Please, Not there's the no need I for that. I literally here. terrorized Message two understood. people. Here, I even have the payment. Uh, uh, that's literally all they wanted. Bye. <laughs> See, isn't that simple? All right, so we got to go turn this back in. We can't take any shortcuts or anything. But yeah, Death Bell Nightshade is a pretty easy, like, early level, like, damage, health, poison. Uh, do we need Misfail Keep for anything? I might as well trigger it while I'm thinking about it. We could also get a new stone. All I have is uh, the Thieves light. Stone right now. But, uh, I mean, the Steed's okay. It gives you more carry space, but it the armor part of it's not as good. Uh, the Serpent's all right. Uh, the one that turns you invisible is probably one of the most handy ones. But, yeah, uh, yeah, but this is, uh, like, it's actually a good one that you can have, uh, like, a stealth build... You have pretty open options. So yeah, so I don't feel bad about carrying around with the, uh... With this one. Stay out of trouble. For a little while, at least. Be trouble. Da, 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 da. So, so oh, job's cool. done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did mm -hmm. it clean. I like that. Dumping I didn't have to hit anyone in the their face. Quiet can be expensive. Well done. Here's what they owed us. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. Mm -hmm. I think you'll find these quite useful. All right, and then a couple potions and one poison. Judging eh. from how well you've handled the right. shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. If there's more gold Last where that came from, blood, I'm in. Telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Watch on your we go, mind. I have to ask. <laughs> where does the outfit isn't doing well? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Patch. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little now, head. You just no make money questions. and I'll take care of all the problems. Following me and I'll show you what we're all about. Come back later. Sure. I may have some work for you. So, you're bringing Yeah, these guys have tons today. of extra jobs. Don't look like much to me. And they go from like racketeering, there's Uh, there's just like different kinds of jobs you can do. Some of them are like cooking books. Uh, they're all relatively simple. I like the ones that uh, uh, it was. I think it was kind of a relic from Oblivion, where you go to a city and you have to steal a certain like gold value worth of stuff in that city. I that's like my favorite one. It's like it's the one that takes the longest, but it's the like it feels like the most thievy kind of thing. Like those are my favorite. I wish they did more like that. Ah, Mercer, you old son of a bitch. Oh, also, on every single Thieves Guild mission you go to, 
there is a special collectible, and if you find them, they will appear right up over here. I've seen a lot of these. And also, once and once only, you can go through these chests, and they will have pretty good stuff in them. So I'm going to do that real quick and steal literally every single thing from probably all these chests. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the grab everything. Sort it out later. Uh, food, don't necessarily need. Shadow marks. Shadow marks are little markings that are on the outsides of buildings that will show you, uh, like, what each one is. Like, uh, the guild, that's where we are now. There's a safe houses. Don't go in there. Uh, this one's got a secret one. This one's under protection. And this one guy's a fence. They'll buy your stolen shit. Stuff like that. Uh, Thieves Guild cash. Secret, uh... So yeah, we should keep our shadow marks. Just in case. Name's Rune. Where's yeah, all my chest? There we thing. go. Name's Rune. They've also got a lot of people yeah. in here that'll train you. Just like your thief. On a, like, like a few different skills. There's an Icon Archer one, a Stealth one. Is there a Stealth one? I could one? crack a lock on any house blindfolded before you even got your picks out of your pocket. Cool, 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 cool. And, you know, just some... And then Thieves Guild Gloves. So we found some Thieves Guild Gloves, Thieves Guild Boots. You will get a full set of that stuff. And uh, the longer you go in the guild, the you can upgrade some of the individual sets. But... So this one, pickpocket success is better. Lockpicking is easier. That's better than the stuff that we've got, so let's put that on. All right, all right, let's... Let me show you... Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be Steal everything? Yeah, but you're still not a hoarder, right? Off. You can quit any time. Before we continue, I, I don't have a house right now, so I can't go clear. full horde mode. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules How's and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses uh, an aptitude Well, I'm not your little work. Vex. If so, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, Black the Bear owner <laughs> has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, uh -huh. aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. So don't F it up. Uh, how do I Simple. get my cut of the spoils? Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around if, this uh, place. If killing they'll be able people to for a profit is more up your alley, we will get to that oh. in, in a little to bit. And talk in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. And a new face. Golden Glow Estate All right. is a B farm. So you can learn you a little bit about uh, the, the different jobs that you get, Mercer and they can give you like different clues. Like did. maybe there's a right. the secret entrance, or maybe there's someone that you can talk clients. to. And so they're just kind of showing you now. It's like, oh, instead of just Maven like charging forward, you should try to. Uh, Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. I won't muck it up, and don't muck it up. Yeah, so in this one, there's a, uh, yeah, like a Golden Glow Estates that have a bunch of beehives in it that provide the honey for the meadery, but something's happened so that uh, the Thieves Guild has usually, you know, got a little part in this, and something's happened that the so uh, recruit, huh? place that with all the well, beehives like is going, no, we're not well playing ga to. games anymore. And so I'm well, there to like uh, teach them a lesson. Get... I'm the fence down here. 
You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for you the don't bill, exactly of own, but you're. I can also be useful call. to our trade now and again. Sure. How Look, at the end of the day, you'll find that all we can. Good. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. All right, so we just got a full set of thieves' guild stuff. So the stuff we stole is eh, well extra. So let's put on our thieves' guild hood. Prices are better, and our thieves' guild armor, our carrying capacity. And yeah, weapons. Our orcish bow. And then I'm gonna save up on the fire arrows, and I'll run through these steel arrows. Mm -hmm. Welcome All to the cozy wrong. little. I, she, I give special rates to members of the thieves' guild. I don't think. Show she, me what you've got. Let's uh, see if they got lockpicks. There we go. Let's buy them all. Um, I'm gonna try to disenchant some of this stuff. Including those two. Whoop! Torture hood. I see you. Um, these are all actually ones that we could use, but those let's get rid of. Scroll paralysis, I kind of like. Uh, but the black buyer mead and the black briar reserve. Radiance I keep. Diamond. I don't need an empty one. All right. Until next time. So we should be pretty light. Let's go and get ready for this mission. So this one is, you know what? For it is not the easiest first mission, or even like I mean, if you count the first one, eh, like the intro one, but it is not the easiest first mission. Uh, there's a lot of trouble you can get into really easily. And the mission itself is, like, the house you go to is kind of big. Like, I can tell they put a lot of work into this. And I don't mind that it's challenging. I just remember the first time I did it, it was a bloodbath. It was an absolute bloodbath. I don't think there was a living person left on that island. Like, I got caught every single time. And so, there are things you can do to keep yourself safe. If we had some, like, invisibility potions or something, that would probably help out the most. But we don't. We got potions that'll let us fight. And so, uh... What we can do is kind of make it so that we get a little bit more ready for this mission. And so I think I'm going to do what I said... Oop, we gotta go there. Kind of at the beginning of this hit, that's where we... Yeah, that's where we gotta go. So we're gonna go and prep a little bit. We got new armor, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, we're gonna go and see if we can upgrade our... Let's see if we can upgrade our weapons, but I don't think we can enchant our bow quite yet. We'd, we would need a soul gem. Which I, I mean, we could go get soul gems if we use the cheater chests, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to quit Need cheater chests. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Climb ah, let's go to solitude. We'll off. First time to solitude. Beautiful. Oh uh, yeah, the actually, it is. It is our I'm first sure time. Hey, knock on wood, but at least my camera hasn't frozen yet this time. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to get your bows enchanted, though. Like, as quickly as possible. Even if it's just, like, a weak, like, five-point enchantment. Like, it's still... It still adds up. And every point of damage... Excuse me. Every point of damage you can upload up front is damage well spent. We 
Never had garlic before, that's cool. And uh, the last cheater chest, there's three total. Two of them I've shown you guys previously. The third one's in here. It's They said it's against one of the grass, but I can't find it. I've watched videos over and over and over again on it. And I can't, I can't figure it out. But we're 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 clean and sober of cheater chests. Thus began the third era. Oh yeah, someone's gonna get murdered just like every time you enter into a city. MacArth here. Or you need to go home. All right, well, we don't care about this. I am going to go and grab all the nightshade that I see. And all these flowers. Get on with it! Get on with the execution. Nightshade, nightshade. Nightshade. Uh, also in Falkreath? They got a bunch of, like, pretty much anywhere with a graveyard grows nightshade. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding this year. So many details to work out. Oh, this guy? I like that guy. He, this guy, if you talk to him, you can start a Daedric quest. Uh. Yeah, I'm not looking at Meryl Citizen. anymore. Damn Citizen. Citizen. I just grab everything. And we should have a good amount. There we go. Man, at this point, I just need to go buy some wheat. 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 Wheat, people. Uh, and then let's just fra fast travel to right outside. Then we'll gather up some ingredients. I think we might even have enough money to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of training. And I've got a real hot take on uh, who I'm going to do the training with. Oh, this just brought me up here. Glowbugs, where you at? And glowbugs? Perfect. Yeah, I think one of the things that this game really wanted to do is like, you gotta do your homework and prep before all of the Thieves Guild missions. Which, I mean, you could all, like Skyrim, you can just brute force your way through anything, but if you do wanna really like get into the character and like really use your character how like the game wants you to, it could be pretty fun. It does take a little bit of that extra work and magic, though. Unless you just go to a cheater chest. And also an option, it's a it's a defensive option for sure. Uh, that it's it's only kind of situational. But I have done before that if you aren't going to be using a build that uses magic at all, that taking, I forget the which stone it is, uh, it might be the Atronach or something like that, but one of them, it hurts your magic regen, but it gives you uh, magic absorption. And if you aren't a spellcaster, uh, yeah, I don't want these potatoes. If you aren't a spellcaster, then, you know, who cares about your magical regen, you know? You're going to heal yourself at the beginning of the game, and that's it. So that's always an option, too. Like, if something gives you a downside, always, like, really think, it's like, does this actually hurt as much as I think it's going to hurt? And you got to do those things with benefits, too. Like, something could be crazy, and it's like, well, how often do I actually use this? Or uh, is this actually, actually going to benefit me the way I think it is? And the more you play the game, the more that stuff's going to make sense. Uh, all right, well, 
I wasn't taking potatoes, but I guess I am now. Make a liar of myself. <laughs> and that's a fishing spot. One of our last uh, little character Let's Plays we did was with uh, fishing. Alright, so here's the death root, or death bell, rather. Big purple flowers, can't miss them. Uh, if you go back and forth across this whole swamp, you'll pick up plenty. They're one of the only things out here that have color. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of spiders, a lot of mud crabs. I think I've got a mud crab or a spider behind me. Oh, I had a uh, a viewer, longtime viewer and fan of the channel, longtime fan of me. I hope my mom ask me about uh, followers and like, oh, can you like kind of explain how you get followers? And that is a super good question because uh, each follower is different and unique, and you need different unique followers based on your uh, what your build is. The thing is, uh, the game kind of gives you Lydia at the beginning as kind of like an intro to follow followers. And then other than that, every guild that you do quests for, you'll get a chance to get followers in there that are themed towards that guild. So Thieves Guild to give you thieves that are good at you know, doing range stuff or picking locks for you. Oh, and here's Mirror Watch Tower over there somewhere. Ah, oh, maybe it's over there. Uh, companions will give you warriors. Uh, so on and so forth. Mages, guild mages. Uh, then there'll be some... Oh, there we go. Then there'll be some quests that will give you some followers. And you can also... Each city will have uh, followers that you can purchase for like 500 bucks or whatever from the end. So there's lots of different ways to get them. Uh, it just depends on w if what you want them to do. Do you want them to stay ranged, melee? Uh, do you want them to be good at any skills or anything? It's just more going to be on what you want. So there's no, like, one way about it. Alright, let's go through and... Yum. Uh, only six? We gotta... We'll find more. We'll find more. We gotta find more than that. Oh yeah, and then while I was here, I wanted to check out this one. Oh, okay, so yeah, this one would be like the opposite of what we want. <laughs> we would want recovering Magicka slower, but uh, less susceptible to magic damage, so. Yeah, we want the opposite of that. The exact opposite, please. Alright, we're keeping our heads looking around. I hear more crabs or spiders, but we're fast. I mean, if you want to, like, oh no, look at this deer. Look at the, both these deers. I, mean, I was going to say, let's put them out of our misery, and then I threw up my, threw up my dukes. Ah, uh, no, they, they over here. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Well, I learned my lesson. I don't know what that lesson is, but I learned it. All right, let's grab a few more, and then we'll head back to the part two of the plan. He's over the hill. Oh, he's... Oh, and we've been poisoned. So we do take less poison damage. Actually, it's good. Oh. Oh. oh, never mind. We need to pop at least one potion. Let's do a vegetable soup. That'll give us a little bit of regen while we're out, out here. It's regen for like six minutes. Two, six, seven minutes. And, oh, we don't have that much healing. We'll do one. 
try to stay a little bit away. This thing is... Perfect. Oh, right with the last like little tick, too. Yeah, that's what happens if we don't get the jump on things. We are not good toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Like, if we get the initial jump, then yeah, we can, like, poison. We can do, like, uh, a bunch of different effects and stuff. But, oh, if we don't get that jump... Bad. Uh, we just made more friends. Let's see what kind of friend it is. I think it's a spider, because it's kind of circling, and they tend to do that. And then there's three. Are you for real? All right. We're going to get out of here. I mean, unless we find a nice little cool little summoning circle thing. All right, we've got like a spider parade chasing after us. He bit me in the butt, that's fine. Oh, speaking of... Morthal, uh, it's, I mean, it's alright, it's, <laughs> it's not like my favorite city or anything like that, but it's got a few quests tied to it, I think one of them's like a Daedric quest too. Alright, can we, are you done panting, lady? Thank you. Alright, and for part two of the plan, white run. And I showed you guys last time, or with one of the other builds, how to get like a free house, basically. There's a few options. Mirror Watch is like the freest, easiest house you can get. Uh, otherwise, like, yeah, there's houses that cost like five or eight grand. You have been told you're not allowed uh. here. Turn around and go back the way you came. I think this thing's for sale for five grand. But then you have to furnish it. You can build your own house. If you're more of the, I want to kind of decide what it looks like, like what's inside each room. Brigands, I can handle. And honestly, my favorite house so far has been a house that I built myself. All right, we go to Dragon's Reach because we can use the enchanting table. We can use the alchemy table. Hey, we can sell a little bit of stuff to Farangar. And up there is where the Jarl is, and he's going to tell us to go do the, the tower quest where the dragon comes and attacks you. If you don't do that quest, you don't have random dragon encounters, so we're not doing that for now. So it looks like we can't disenchant our gloves. Do we have a... We don't have a soul gem. We could buy a soul gem. They're expensive though, even for the cheap ones. All right, I am actually gonna pee. I'll be back in a sec. Thanks, you guys.
Farngar up there. Oh no, he's probably sleeping, huh? Wait, where do you, where do you sleep, Farngar? Okay, he's sleeping. Um, let's do as much alchemy as we can. And you can see now we have a lot more opened up to us that we've been uh, snacking down on some ingredients. Let's do damage health. Oh, perfect. And you can see it's going to do 16 points of extra damage. That's absolutely wonderful. And then restore health with these two. And then it, you can always include a third uh, ingredient. That helps unlock different items. And normally if you're in the middle of creating and you do that, and it's like, oh shit, you, gotta, you want to stop what you're doing and then like level up the thing you're creating, but we are going to level up our bow, so. Alright, so we got some, uh, and the, I said this last time, but the blue mountain flower is like, uh, restore health and fortify health. Like, it only fortify the health once, but the restore health will pop up. So it'll give you just like that little, like, 20 extra hit points, which, uh, you know, beginning of the end, that's 20%. Not bad. Um, let's do one stamina. And then... Oh, unlocked another level of sneak. Noise from armor is reduced by half. Uh, if you're wearing heavy armor, this is really good because you're noisy as hell. Light armor, you're not as noisy, but you still produce some noise. Unless you're, like, under the a literal effect of muffled. It's, uh, like, an illusion effect, which... Running and walking does not affect detection, but the... Uh, the weight of your armor will. So, I mean, that's one that you do gotta do. I'm, I'm tempted to get this one. We haven't done one yet. But... Zooming my view... Zooming your view? This doesn't, like... It's not like it deals any extra damage or anything like that. Uh, over there, like, if I put a point into it on critical shot, I have a 10% chance of critting. But Eagle Eye is nice for old boomers like me, where you, uh... That, combined with Steady Hand, is, like, these are for boomers over here. Zooming in, and slowing time down. But guess what I am? An old man. Ah, uh, Farngar. I do want to enchant my bow. Will you sell me something? I, I don't want to get in, I mean, okay, I won't say that. Close. I don't want to get in bed with Farngar right so now. So, <laughs> you wish to master the arcane arts. Oh, man. How, 400 bucks? I hate you. You can have my Shadow Marks book. I don't need it anymore. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Alright, so we are going to take our Orcish Bow, since that's what we need. Frost Damage, since that's the only thing we got. It's not perfect. 27 charges. What if we go down to... F 5. Ugh. And comments like that. That's a decent enchantment, but keep studying. You've only scratched the surface. Cool, 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 cool. And while we're here, I think we can get away with doing a little bit of alchemy training. We could also make some just like ridiculous like poisons and stuff like that. Sell them back to the lady to make a little bit of money and then train. And get like, you know, get some close not not exactly power leveling, but Yeah, you know, it's a star. You get to the cloud district very often. what Do you get to the cloud district? Oh, there's a shadow mark. Let me know. If we had the book, we would know what one it is. Every Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Alright, keeping all that. Keep. Oh, nope, that's a lie. You can have this. this. Um, you never know. Oh, and here's ours that we made. There were tw uh, two bucks each, so that's pretty good. 
And here's the one we made uh, for the health, and they're made they're in 34. <laughs> Ah, uh, never mind, I don't have anything. Alright, bye. Come back. All right, the so we're gonna walk over here to, to Arcadia. Cool name, by the way, Arcadia. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Alright, first thing we gotta do. Rather pale. Also, Could this is a really good spot it's to quite steal. A back home <laughs> in I think I can teach you a thing or two. So this is gonna take almost all of our money. Uh, we can only train five times per level, but now we've got a little bit of extra uh, pep in our step. Let's go make a couple po- Oh, uh, what's a good one? How about a damage magica? That's a good concoction. But keep a nice damage things. stamina. Alchemy rewards yeah. inquisitive minds. Since you get a nice little preview, you can get like. Like 23, You'll that's all right. Targets, Resist shock, slabs, 80. On my Resist magic. And also, it's not a bad one just to, when you start mixing stuff together like this, is going to reveal that it's going to, uh, I think, increase our two-handed for a while, which doing that went from that potion being worth like 80 to 188. So we're going to make these. Stamina, what do you got left? We're just gonna throw a little bit of everything in there. So it went from whatever 30 to 356. Uh, decreases the target's mana region by 100. Conjuration spells last longer, drain the target's stamina. So it's mostly a poison, but there's some uh, a, a crossover of positive effects, so that's why it's got like a weird like cross section. I sell cures for all illness. Then we'll make everything else here. Ah, bummer. Drains the target's manage mana, but then there are different like things you can get to make sure that though the like negative effects aren't as good aren't as like bad, but we do want to quit out of me. Alright. There's too many goddamn potions you can make. Yeah, there's like I think there's like Pardon me. Uh, like there's I have hundreds several for elixirs sure. There might be sale. thousands. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. All right, let's see. So this lady's got 3000 of our hard-earned dollars. Let's see if we can get some of those back. Not those ones. There's one. There's one. Ooh, 69. 69. We're getting better. Oh, that resists shock? Ah, I'm never going to remember to use it. And honest to God, I'm never going to remember to use those. Farewell. Alright, how, how much of my money did I make? First of all, level up. Here we go, health. Let's put a point into the light armor. Because we do get hit sometimes, we're not perfect. All right, how much money did we get back? We got some back, we got some. But more importantly, we got a bunch of poisons and we've got an enchanted weapon now. No, you're 100% right, there's way too many poisons you can make in this. Which is cool, but there's no way you're ever gonna make them all, you know what I mean? And you can make, uh, there's a cross, there's such a big crossover that there's just like literally hundreds of poisons and potions that you can make that have adverse effects. Yeah, but who, yeah, who knows? Who knows? In real life, there's a bunch of poisons and potions you can mix that have, give you adverse effects too. There's another farm that's tempting, but no. Nope. All right, so it's a bit of a swim over here, over this island. And from doing our research, we have learned that there is a secret entrance off to one of the sides. And you're saying, hey, Nick, 
you actually didn't go and do that. And I'm thinking, oh, no, we were supposed to talk to Vex. The clue was that, like, even our little Vex couldn't get in. And so you could talk to her, and she would say, yeah, I know of a secret ent entrance. There is a sewer grate that you can go through. And so that's what we're going to do. And catch great flies. the... Yeah, I think I passed it, though. I think it's over here. It's just like a little grate in the ground. I mean, you could also just get up on here, but then these guys are gonna come to kill you. <laughs> yeah, so there are a bunch of guards. They are kill on sight for you. Uh, if you want to do a complete stealth run, you're going to have to avoid those guys at all. Alright. I mean... I mean... Yeah, see how these uh, mercenaries aren't uh, taking a lot of damage? That's when you know that you are not supposed to be fighting these guys for this. Skyrim belongs to the Nords! Let's find that let's find that secret way up here. And look what we got here. Alright, so we are in the sewers underneath Golden Glow now. Alright, so one of his rat buddies heard me. What? Uncalled for game. Ah, <laughs> eh, sometimes the arrow just goes skidding right over the skeever, I guess. A silver ring. And you can see this ground's a little oily. There's a trip wire. That's a cool trap. Oh, I think one of these, right? This one? Nah. This one? Nah. One of these you drop down from into from above. It's like a secret way out. This one? Maybe. Uh, a depth lock? There's a chest in there. I mean, this is kind of what we do. We do have 86 locks. I could always put points into lock picking too to just it's 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 a quality of life upgrade. Time stops when you're picking locks. If time kept going and there was like urgency to it, maybe you could put more points into it, but I don't know. But it's, like I said before, eventually, damn it, eventually you get to the point that, especially if you are like legendary in your skills, that you are gonna have enough perk points. But the... Guide to feather thieving. Yes, please. But uh, if you are the kind of player that likes making the job easier on yourself throughout the game, then that's a good one for it. Who else? Who else? No. Oh, there he is. Oh, I can't tell if that's the alive one or not. Nope. Perfect. Yeah, it's kind of like last time, you know? You just gotta get a little bit. I should have played for like an hour before I started the stream. Nah. 
I ain't a perfect player. I don't expect anyone else to be. And if you are, by all means, God bless you. Somebody's got to be <laughs> good at this game. All right, so this is going to pop us up right up where our two friends were running around. I'm not sure if they're still going to be running around, but just in case, let's get everything ready. All right, and then we pop up. No one is instantaneously screaming at us. So this mission has two parts. We've got to get inside a safe that's inside the house, and then we've got to burn down three bees' nests from outside. Uh, the bees' nests, usually you get detected every time like I've gone, so I save that part for second. Uh, if you get a key for Golden Glow, you can come right through here. Otherwise, you have to go like around, or if you have 84 lockpicks, you play the fun game of attrition. Somewhere around in here. Yeah, so it's up a little. It's down a little. When you've got a million lockpicks to work with, it doesn't. It kind of doesn't matter since they freeze time, but it's one of the quirks of the game. That's why we love it. Uh, yeah, obtain the key to the safe. We will have to do that. And uh, saving a lot as a is like saving a lot is recommended when you play this game no matter what but especially when like all of your individual choices matter so much like you have to do a hundred things to get a successful stealth mission off like done right you have to do two things right to do it if you're just going melee you know what I mean melee is the most forgiving stealth archer is the least forgiving Mage is somewhere in the middle because you can always just bl blow people to shit. Where is everyone? Well, I went the wrong way. And again, your movement speed does affect the detection. So you do want to move slow if you're going into areas where you don't know where everything's at. And I kind of remember... Question mark? I like that our... Uh... Alright, so we got somebody with their back to us right there. That's perfect. So we're gonna go not that way. So yeah, when I was saying uh, stealth... Or the uh, Thieves Guild really focuses on the stealth part. They don't want you murdering people. Uh... If there are missions where uh, there, you will have to maybe do away with some un, some people that are like named mercenary or guard, those like don't count as murders in this game. Murder. Hey, you two. All right, first floor is done. Yeah, usually, I've made, like, in here is not as bad. But outside is r a little rough. I feel like there's a guy on a little watchtower that snitches real fast. Alright. Is it? Oh. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had cotton candy out of a bag. I think I've only gotten it from like a cotton candy machine. Okay, so obviously a guy right there. We can ace him if we wanted to, but it also sucks to be like most of the way through a mission you've successfully stealthed and then you get caught near the end, and then all of a sudden, everybody is looking for you. 
So that, you also do want to avoid that. Uh, we're not readers, we're not strong readers. Alright, so this guy is right behind us. So we want to keep moving slow. And one way so that if you're like, okay, can this guy see me? You can go third person and then get a little bit of a better view on things. Aw oh, man, and they're gonna play me my favorite song right in the middle? Slow, we're sure. We're unlocking this door. We let everything happen. We come around the corner. We close the door behind us. And then I'm gonna save, because this guy is right around there and we haven't been detected yet. All right, all right, all right. I like this setup. Why? Okay, well. All right, so he knows where we're already at. This happens sometimes in some of your games too. If uh, anybody on the premise has been alerted to you even once, he's gonna automatically know where you're at on this. And yeah, so we didn't get, like, nobody inside detected us. Those guys on the outside did. We even snuck through the center, but it happens. It's a bit of a buggy game sometime. You can do what I did. Just don't run up and get caught right away. I mean. It's All right, well. Someone there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Actually, let me see if I can... Let me see if I can get this from this guy without him noticing us. Because he is acting weird, but then when we got caught pickpocketing, it kind of seemed like, oh, I don't know, you're there. So let me see if I can get away. I think I sold all my shit that would help me. All right, let's see if we can, though. Uh... Yeah, see, detected, but... And there is the secret item for this spot. Right, we save. What was that? Uh, bum. And keys are supposed to be some of the easiest items you can take. Oh, we got it. So a little bit of save scumming. Well, that's all right. Let's go ahead and take our uh, B in a jar. And sir, we bid you adieu. Oh, uh, you didn't have them hanging up there. Sometimes uh, keys to places will be hanging up on the little key racks. Man, these people have money just laying around everywhere. All right, let's get out of here. All right, there's a guy right around here, so remember that. Yeah, it's a, it's a patience game for... Uh, the assassins and the thieves. 100%. No, 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 this ain't right. We go out this, out the hall. And there's a guy over there on that side. But yeah, if you're trying to play like a less like save scummy build, then you do want to put points in like pickpocketing and stuff like that. 
just it makes it easier on yourself and it's more sort of like oh it's how I want to play the game and that is more important than anything else is like you know play the game how you want to play you're the one doing it you're the one that should be having fun all right got out of the first floor or second floor let's make it down to the first floor and then see if we can make it past my uh oh what is this we also have to get down to the basement I know they have the auto saves on there, but I like the, I like the hard save. Alright. Alright. And then down to the basement we go. And there's no one down here? Yeah. Alright, we're going down to the basement because this is where the safe is, and, like, you know, presumably all his business contacts and shit are going to be down in here. Alright, so we got Homeboy in the corner. I'm glad that these people never face the only entrance into the room. I think I do have to sneak around him, though. I think... Oh, no, there's two of them. I think... Is that the right way? Ah, we'll see in a sec. We are creeping around. Uh, I think this is just like a little storage room over here, so let's go that way. Actually, we gotta rob the storage room, right? We gotta make ends. Yeah, uh, it's just like furs and shit. Well, we gotta make ends. Nice rack. Nothing up here? Nah. Alright, then back to slow. Then there's this, which makes me think that if we wanted to, we could just light this guy on fire. But a part of me think that that's kind of a trap. Let's see if we can sn that, that That ain't good. Yeah, he's staring down the way that we want to exactly go. So let's see if the game meant for us to think that this guy had a horrible accident. Now, let's see how this goes. Now you're mine. Ah, nah, that's not it. Yeah, it seemed like a bit of a trick, but you know, you gotta you gotta test it out. All right, so in this, we orchestra spell. We put on oh the flamey arrows. I'm, I'll do fire arrows for you guys for once. Uh, and then the bow itself is already poisoned, so we've got everything. We had our sneak attack. We got a flame arrow. And again, and we can even zoom in to make sure we hit. Alright, we're still hidden. Alright, let's take it off of our good arrows. I mean, they switch automatically, right? Might as well. I guess what we could have done is uh, we could shoot an arrow over in this corner. And then he'll walk over there. But then he's already alerted. So then I, I was like, well... Alright, so here we go. Here's a safe, a chest, some free money. Let's grab the chest first. 
11 bucks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And it's an expert, so we got a hundred bucks and the bill of sale. So, uh, whoa, 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 a bill of sale. Golden Glow, we didn't know that you guys were selling. Um, uh, this document acknowledges the sale of Golden Glow Estate and all property assets and materials contained within. Payment of property has been made in full by Gullum A as an agent on behalf of the buyer. So it wasn't the buyer, somebody working on behalf of it, so, you know. Shady dealings. Good luck and may this be the start of a long and lucrative partnership. Unsigned. So it's, hmm, well, looks like we're gonna have to teach old homeboy a lesson now, aren't we? Hey. Oh, oh, never mind. I was gonna see if you'd grab me another one of these uh, Johnny Utahs, but your hands are full of babies. And so now is the second part of this uh, this quest. It's like, well, l listen to this guy. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, Daedric weapons, though. Look how good that looks. My wife and I have been passing a note around back and forth for like two years now, right? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's starting to look rough. Uh, it is just a note that says, You stink. And, and yeah, we just pass it back and forth. Oh, yeah, this looks cool. And we hide it in different spots where the other persons are, like, in their deodorant cap, like, underneath a brush, like... Oh, get a little closer. You stink. You stink. So that's what she just found. I had it hidden because I knew she was going to give the Babu a bath tonight. So I hid it underneath one of the Babu ducky toys. Oh, plenty of time. All right. So over this way. Now, like I said, this one is a little bit trickier. They've got some patrol paths. They've got some like eagle eyed dudes that are hiding up on some higher areas. And so this one can be a little bit tricky. If you have like an invisibility potion or power, this is the time to use it. Absolutely 100% this time is the time to use it. Because apparently these guys living over here have been eating their carrots and can spot me from a mile away. All right, so I see one of them moving around back there, but that's way back there. This bridge is kind of a choke point, but I don't see anyone up there. So maybe uh, maybe us getting caught earlier was actually a little blessing in disguise. All right, and then as we qu qu bleh, quest, crest the hill. So now we need to burn down three of these. There's five of them. We only need to, no, we're burning down three. We don't want to ruin the business, we want to send a message. But... So. And then once... Two, three... So now they're pissed, now let's go. Uh, this is nice where it's to be, uh, nice to be Argonian, because then you can just dive down into the water and then make your getaway. But that was a uh, mostly clean attempt. Alright, once we're out of combat, we can move back to Thieves Guild. Oh, man. I feel like they did, uh, they added like a uh, couple kinds more of the courses. They should add like course like larva. They should add pupa, queens, workers, warriors, like elite guard for the queen. Man, they could have done a lot more with some of these bad guys. Oh yeah, Maul. All right, let's go tell. Oh, courier time. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving a up letter the world, from eh? the Yarl. Looks like that's it. 
Got to go. Moving on up in the world. Look at us go. Yeah, that one is an invitation to buy property and build a house on it. Which I highly recommend doing. It is super fun. Building your own place in this game. Where is this telling me to go? Just curious. Oh, oh it's telling me to use the, uh, the secret egg entrance. We'll use it this way. Ignore the bodies, ignore the bodies. Alright, so they should be fairly impressed with our success here. We'll see. I'll show you guys the, uh, the secret exit. Not, I mean, not so secret. And then after this, I'll show y'all how to join the Dark Brotherhood, the other stealth faction. A lot more murdery. This one is like... The Thieves Guild is very like technical and uh, you, I mean you just gotta be good. Like you just gotta be good. Dark Brotherhood is getting creative about murder. <laughs> Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lass. Oh. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot mm -hmm. thinking? He has no ah, idea the extent dumb. of Maven's fuel. If only the parchment had the bot blast. Yeah, well, and I'm gonna I'll check uh, fast forward through but the for dialogue, now, you know, because to speak to Maven assuming Black you guys will go through this too. She asked for <laughs> it's just business. And That's between she wanted Don't to meet me, Maven Blackbriar, the matriarch of the Blackbriar Meadery. Uh, of course. Keep doing right by us. And there's plenty more where that came from. Hundred bucks. Ah. All right. All right. And then I think we do we talk to, to disturb you? me? Nope. Um, this should be showing up unless this I gotta do. I thought I don't have to busy. do anything. I thought I can just. Uh, I thought it just appears. This Maybe that happens later. I'm quite busy. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't want the inkwell. Alright, this is asinine. Inkwell, inkwell, inkwell. Maybe it wasn't the bee in the jar, it's maybe it's like the queen. Oh, it's not, it's another thing. Whoops, oh well. I think it's like a golden ship or something like that. Alright, so here's the secret entrance and exit. Hopefully one of you guys are screaming at me like 20 minutes ago. I gotta yank this chain. And you can tell this is a thieves guild. Secret by uh, these marks. Look familiar? But yeah, and so to get in here, you have to push this button on the coffin if it's closed, if you want to come into the outside. And the outside is just uh, this graveyard. All right, there are two ways to join the Dark Brotherhood. You can murder someone and get kidnapped, or you could take a little carriage ride. Do whichever way feels right to you. If you want to murder somebody innocent and then get kidnapped in the middle of the night, then that is your story, <laughs> by all means. All right, can we go can to our boy? To... Where do you want to go? We want to go to Wind. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Ever been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim. Uh, no. They say the big old palace there was built by Yeez. Also, Windhelm has a couple of farms right out, right on the outside. Uh, we're gonna go hit those up too. One of them is the Halau farm. And Halau was one of my favorite factions to play when we played Marwind. Pretty sure I've said that a hundred times, but it's new for each video, so you guys gotta listen to it. House uh, Redoran, Televani, and Halau. And there was a really easy exploit to do with House Halau, so that was my favorite one growing up.
And I don't need to tell y'all while I'm here, or while I'm here. Chicken eggs, I think it's what, damage stamina or something? And there's one more, f two more farms. I'm pretty sure one of them has wheat. And of course the blue mountain flowers are key. Yeah, this one's got wheat. Also up the mountain is a Daedric shrine, if you're into that kind of thing. You can go see what he wants you to do. Uh, hint, it's murder some friends. Oh, so if you're into that thing, that's right up the hill. Day. But hopefully Master Halalu will let me see that. Master Halau? Alright, yeah, I don't think the other one does. Maybe they do, but let's get rolling. Yeah, and so, uh, two ways to join the Dark Brotherhood. You go murder someone, you go sleep in a bed, and you get kidnapped by Astrid in the middle of the night. Or day, or whenever you're sleeping, really, it doesn't matter. You get snatched away from your bed. Uh, the other one is to do this, and then get snatched away. <laughs> and so, I don't know, we can murder someone innocent, but... If we do it this way, it's, uh, you get to go to an orphanage. So we're gonna do that. This one's got a, this one's got a more lore to it. We're gonna go with a lore friendly version. I imagine that, like, everything is, that you do is canon in, like, the, like, Elder Scrolls universe, and so like that story is just like, oh yeah, the Dragonborn, what a great guy, like powerful mage and warrior, and defeated Alduin and saved the kingdom. It's like, yeah, but I think he was also involved in the Dark Brotherhood. I think he assassinated the Emperor. <laughs> you come here where you're not wanted. You I think he killed a bride on our wedding day. Oh yeah, this is what we were talking about the with the, how they made the Stormcloaks like the freaking racist. We have because it's not our fight. The townsfolk hey, maybe the reason these great I, to help in the war. I mean, if anything, they should take the fight of the, the Empire. Then it's right, true, so this. what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, 100% true. Oh, was... So yeah, that's uh, that kid right there is inside here. I'm not sure if you can break into here or not for free. I always sneak, Nonsense. make sure they're not paying attention. Bust on in. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the And then you can hear the boy doing the dark sacrament. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Alright, alright kid, I'm here. You've come Let's at do last! It. I knew you would! Are you alright? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the black sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came! Performing the black from the sacrament. Dark brotherhood. You do it, and remain silent is anything. always the best. There's no need. You're here, so I know you look Not my important concept. whose body that is. The important thing is that he did the my mother, she, Black Sacrament, she so died. now he has fulfilled an I, oath and a contract between so they sent me to that uh, Sithis and Honor Hall. him, so we're going to send a soul to the afterlife. Woman. So I ran away and came home. And yeah, so he's saying his sacrament. parents died, now you're here. Uh, he was an you orphan, he went to the orphanage, the, the headmistress of the orphanage, a horrible woman, so now he came back here and performed the Black Rite so that she would die. Please hurry. And guess what we're going to gonna honest, go do? I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Not that. Alright, kiddo. Well, don't you worry. I'll kill that woman for you. <laughs> uh, what was that? 
Is that void salts? Nope. Must be frost salts. Bop. Human flesh. Human hearts. Because, you know, as one does, you eat all the human flesh and hearts you come across. The first one. The first one you come across. Alright, and guess where Old Honor Glow, or whatever they want to call it, is? Right in our hometown. What? Oh, thank you, hun. I appreciate you. Sometimes I just do it when I'm pooping. <laughs> nope, it's way funnier if they don't know. Alright, so I don't know why they're ha- Wait, why are they having me go in there? Oh, Maven Blackfire. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're gonna go kill uh, a woman named... Uh, Greylod the Kind is a woman um, we're gonna go kill. So, I've been kill. thinking... Wait, Snow, I'm grateful we're friends. I'd like Here. you to uh -huh. have this. Nothing really. It's not much. Oh yes, I, I hope it's something you like. Still, it would be a waste on Still, you don't else. have to give me anything, let alone eight bucks. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap mead? I'm selling the best mead in town for cheap. No, no, friend. You got it all wrong. I'm not selling cheap mead. I'm selling good mead for cheap. Black Briar mead. Ah, that sounds like a scam. Well, that's a quest that uh, sounds like we will do with another character. All right, so it is four in the morning, and we are tasked with killing this old woman. Oh, that's funny, Tina Belcher. The Honor Hall Orphanage. All right, so we got to kill this woman. That kid performing the Black Sacrament. We don't have a choice. Let's load up a damage health. Ah, uh, that's why. Nope. I'm sure their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself extra clear? beatings? Yes, yes Grillet. Grillet. And one more thing, I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted ever. Nobody. None of you rats are Nobody getting adopted. Will. That's all you gotta hear from this lady. And then <laughs> you kill her in front of all the kids and then you get your get out. Right after she said none of them are getting adopted though, so you know. Let your moral compass decide <laughs> where you, where it goes from here on out. Alright, so let's go tell homeboy that he's truly all alone in the world now. Hey, you can collect all these dragon masks and put them on this exact thing. Uh, I don't know, statuary. And that center one opens and reveals a special surprise that I won't spoil. Lacey seems to think it is something phallic. <laughs> What's her cat want? Uh, she always wants attention. Oh, little goat. <sighs> Yeah, it just hops. Hops wherever he goes. Just de -de 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 -de. hops sideways. De -de 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 -de. Wow. All right, kiddo, guess what? Well, the kind. Is she, you know. I told the cops what you did. You're you're under arrest. Uh -huh. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. Ah, oh, kid, you don't have to pay me. I did it. I did it just cuz you you seemed like you needed a friend. What did we get though? I think we had, like some family heirloom. Yeah. All right. And so you're like, oh, well that wasn't so bad. You know, I might go around and start murdering a little bit, a few more people. It's like, man, all that murdering has made me tired. I'm gonna go take a little nap. This oh man, yeah. Well, look at this lady. Legend we all know and love. 
How can Elda hate the Dark Elves when she knows so little about them? Yeah? What? Oh, what did you say? This here's Candleheart House. Uh, right a room. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Uh, can she show me to my room? Uh, ma'am, I think I was supposed to go up that way. Alright, bye. Uh, anything else you need. I need you to get out. And you come in here and you take a just a, a little one hour nap. Uh, game? Three hour nap? Ah, well, never mind. Alright, I have to pee. I'll be right back. One more thing. This might have to be one where we wait 24 hours for it to happen. Because we did kill an innocent person. <laughs> she was being a, a bit of an asshole to those kids, but that's technically not a crime. What's up? They were orphans, so... I don't think so. He, she was telling him that none of them were ever going to be getting adopted and stop talking about it. Oh, well, never mind. I guess, uh... I guess we killed that woman and it's all okay. I think, does this one take a few days? I think it takes a few days. You know, you gotta let the word get around that you, uh, murdered a... The word is the bird? <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Alright. Uh, we don't really have, like, a home city or anything like that. Where's a nice spot to take a nap? Ah, Riverwood. Everybody loves Riverwood. I do like the Blades helmets, how they have a little dragon come down the top. Like, the, the crest of the helmet. A little, like, flange coming down for the flame tongue. Oh man, I'm out of it. I thought I was like, oh, I need to, like, every time I come to Riverwood, it's because they have the, like, a general trader, so I'm like, oh, it's not time yet, I gotta wait. Alright, let's try this one more time. This cost us 20 bucks. That's anything that's. Alright, we got rooms and food. Boy. Need a room? Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Oh, look at all this. And room. 
literally uh sir until next time uh d does daphne do all the rooms you're th i'm the innkeeper or delphine sure you know you know yours for a day would you like to show me to the room or is it this one we don't get a lot of travelers here in the river is it this one no, it has to, uh, you have to have the quest open for the secret closet to open. Is it this one? Yeah, I won't, yeah, I won't even let me interact. There we go. So it, you do have to wait a little bit amount of time. And then, you know, yeah, so the second I got into it, I'm feeling well rested, though. Astard! Sleep well. What? Where am Does I? Who are you? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for yeah, old thanks, Grelod. Obama. Hmm. Half of Oof. Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to. Don't get forget, around. in front of the children. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not That's the most important part. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming, and you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight mm, problem. What's that? You see, that little Eratino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me uh -huh. and my associates. Uh -huh. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill yeah, well. that you stole. A well, kill I can't undo it, so what do you want to do about this? I, you want well, me to murder now, someone else? I, I, if she ask. said that, I think that she's going to If you turn us. around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from, well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on, see if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. She's I the one that kidnapped me observe. for murdering that old and lady. Admire. See, I knew we could resolve. The well, get to it then. All right, so Pick your guest and the send game. the poor fool to the void. Yeah, so there's uh, the three people behind us, and, and we way. have to decide which one has the Dark Brotherhood contract. So there's three people. Thank you. And you go through and you talk to their stories. Uh, you will, yeah, well, one of them has a Dark Brotherhood contact Please, let on me him. Go. And you have I've to try to figure out which one has one. You don't. You, instead, make sure that you get... Make sure that you get the right one. Uh, at this point, well, yeah, well, uh, it, aren't we the overachiever? Three pots. Two, we'll do one into health. And over into sneak. Be a little Pillars. wider. Boom. Three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take mm -hmm. chances? Why take chances, indeed. Uh, let's do a little. Hmm. When most would speak, you listen. You think. You understand that the only thing that matters is you following my orders. To kill. So, of I'm course. Pretty good. <laughs> and you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. <gasps> Oh, I would Astrid's like to officially extend out. to you an invitation to join my family, the Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road. When questioned, yeah, I'll it's an see awful you at home. spot. It is in an awful spot. <laughs> All right, um. About these hoods, though. Do 
any of y'all have anything good? Okay. All right. Oh, saber cat. Look at that kitty. Oh man. I one thing I did like about Far Cry Primal was collecting all of like the pets. So I could have like the saber tooth tiger and or smile it on. Oh. Leakers is getting closer. <laughs> Alright, so they're telling us to go right here. Uh, Falkreath is the near city, but we can always take a... Enemies are nearby. Um... Oh yeah, and you cannot enter the shack uh, before this point in the game. Like, at the game will not let you. Yeah, so the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves Guild are similar in different ways, but they're different in some other ways. Uh, the Thieves Guild is real big on making your like skills better and getting you a lot of money. The Assassin's Guild, the Dark Brotherhood, is real, uh, real big on making you like as potent as you possible. Where do you so want they've to got go? like lots of poisons, lots of gear that make you better at that kind of stuff. Back and we'll be off. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to Markarth. Anything but that. Carriage is. Where do you want to go? Climb and back. Brief, and man. We'll be Come off. on, what am I? A goon? I don't want to go to Markarth. Weather. weather seems fine. Yeah, and there is. Uh, there's one for now. Uh. Dark Brotherhood Sanctum, and the door is guarded by a little Sithis door, and he asks you a little riddle. And there are a couple of funny answers. Oh. This guy looks like he wants to talk to me. Not about it. But yeah, I'm just gonna say that if you are going to have like a continent spanning network of professional assassins that like, have aspirations to be, like, the world's deadliest group of assassins, you should probably put your base in a different spot than 14 seconds out of the way of a main city and down right here. Even though we got a uh, Sith of store. Is the music of life? What's the music of life, babe? What is the music of life? No, silence. Because the black door wanted to know, and then I said silence, my brother. He said, welcome home. <coughs> Licorice. Ugh. Oh yeah, this one's an old one. Licorice. Licorice. This is the OG baby. The one that came before the Babu. Came before me, actually. She uh, outranks me in this household. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's got more seniority than me. Oh, that's a shitty soul jab. Bloody bones is decoration. She's seen a thing or two. The Night Mother's Truth. Oh, at last. I hope you found the place alright. I love Astard. I mean, not literally, but don't kick that too well, much. Well, what happens now it is you start me. your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. Okay. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer Stop. place in all of Skyrim. No, 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 no. So get comfortable. Uh, what, so yeah, uh, I'm honored to be part of the family. That's kind of bootlicker. When do I get to kill someone? You sound insane, mm. not knowing what to say. Yes. Perfect. The silence suits you. Gives you an air of mystery. It's the Dark Brotherhood thing. Now, it's the dark down brooding, to business. Like anti-hero kind of thing. For you. Or just regular as villain. 
Go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Yeah, so the Dark Brotherhood ones, they'll have individual contacts that you go through, sure to get which even are, more you go kill people, ah, and then you'll have like a big job that's like a, a sizable hit. Home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it Ooh, serve Dark you well Brotherhood armor. in all your Which I think endeavors. is better than the Thieves sure Guild one, to your new but if, in case it's not enough, very eager this stuff over here is all... Uh, like Dark Brotherhood armor, but it's if you wanted to build like a magey build. Like I'm gonna take it all, and I'll kind of show you guys what I mean. So, for all the stealth builds, here's the Thieves Guild stuff: prices, lock picking, pickpocket, carry capacity. None of those help you in combat, but they help you break into a house, steal a bunch of shit, and leave without being detected. Totally cool. The shrouded stuff. Uh, no weight, so these things are a little bit of weight, but no armor. So these ones are for, like, the mage -er builds. Uh, if you want to go full, like, undetectable wraith, you want the shrouded, uh, the shrouded stuff. So, you move silently. Boom. You're just silent. You move silently. So, uh, if they see you, or if they, uh, like, yeah, they see you, or if you do something, pick something up, they can detect you. But otherwise, you are like a ghost. Uh, robes, destruction spells, I mean, because if you're an assassin mage, you gotta, you know, do destruction. Sneaking is 25% better. Beautiful. Uh, double sneak damage with one-handed weapons. That includes daggers and like the swords and stuff like that too. So if you are wearing something like this and you have the feet or the perk to be able to sneak attack and deal 15 times damage, this makes it so that you deal 30 times damage with the dagger. So it's absolutely necessary. No armor though, but uh, yeah. So these are the ones we're gonna be wearing. Backstab does double damage, love it. Bows do 20% more damage, love it. Oh, so you can have one with a mask or one without a mask. We're gonna do the mask one, cause we're badass. Uh, where is muffled and moves silently, love it. And then shrouded armor. Poison resist by 50, this makes us I think immune to poison. But, I mean, you know, it's not the, not my favorite one. What's the robes do? It's destruction spells? Yeah, we ain't using that. Not gonna use that one. But alright, so I'll give you guys a little quick tour of the inside. Again. Again. That's who they want us to talk to. We've got lots of okay. alchemy ingredients okay. laying around that are good for doing poison oh, stuff. You're such a pretty little uh, With the sweetie, like a sweetie? Oh yes, how about some chocolate? Oh yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop, through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! <laughs> I mean, bad, yeah, I mean, I have the same reaction of all these guys. You, this uh, little girl is actually a vampire turn. that got turned oh, into a yes. vampire at a young Please age, old but she's Rich old now, and she uh, lures old pedophile ah, creeps young, into alleyways stupid. and sucks the blood Always and kills them, so, you know, easy come, easy go. My contract went very we got a well. werewolf. We got a vampire. We got some mages in here. Working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning and yeah, these guys, inside. you've got uh, inside the Dark Brotherhood, there's a forage area so you can have armor made. There's a word of power. Kill marked for death. Uh, marked for death is like one of the best shouts. It reduces the target's resistance. You shout, it hits someone. It reduces their resistance by like 60 or something like that. It's a good one. And last but not least, what would a guild be without a guild pet? And look who we got for our guild pet.
It's our guild pet. It doesn't have one, it doesn't look like. It won't let me target it or look at it. No, that's not mine, it's the guild pet. And then you can disenchant, enchant anything you want to in here. But yeah. Oh, let's see how badass we look in our new armor. Get on the table. I said. Eh. Maybe too close. New sister. May I offer my most new sincere sister. welcome to our Look family. at us. We look like a crazy person. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gad with you. Huh. Oh yeah, I did she tell you that I killed all of them? Ah, probably everyone kills all of them. All right, everyone. Let's eat, eat, take. Does death not come right, to us all? Is it not a servant? That is, I think, what you guys need to know about starting off with a good stealth build. I showed you guys how to start. I showed you guys how to get to the thieves guild. Showed you guys how to get into the dark brotherhood, the assassins guild, the cons and uh, pluses of each one. Uh, you also get a unique mount if you do the uh, the dark brotherhood. But yeah, uh, like I said uh, earlier, I appreciate you guys watching. I love the comments. I love the likes. I love you guys reaching out and uh, like letting me know that the things that you like, the things that you want to know. Uh, just uh, it makes it uh, not my job easier, but it makes me putting out. Lacey is stroking her invisible phallus over here at my head. Oh, the slow one. I hate the slow jerk more. <laughs> Don't wink at me. Anywho. Yeah, well, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thanks for Nate. Thanks, Nova. Thanks, my honey, for showing up and saying hi. And thanks to y'all that are watching this like later on YouTube or on Twitch. It means a lot. Uh, the next one, I think, is going to be the survival mode. So make sure to watch out for that one. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Appreciate y'all. Lacey says hi. She gives a she gives a wave, and I will talk to you all next time. All right, take care, y'all.